my life is 24-7 bad. I'm no, no. <laughs> no. I mean, the only happiness I get is when I'm out with my son. I've been to marriage counseling. I've done things I never thought I would have to do. I've lit candles, bought self-help books, lingerie. Did the candles help? Hell no, all right? I don't love her the way she needs to be loved, and I don't even see a future for us. But then I look at, at, at my little boy sitting at the table across from me, and I think I would suffer any torture to be with him for all the minutes of his life. You know, I don't want to miss out on one. But then there, there's no joy or laughter in my home, you know? And I don't want him growing up in that. Ah, oh, no laughter. That's terrible. My parents have been together for 35 years, and even when they have a bad fight, they end up laughing like yeah, crazy. I just, I don't want to be one of those people who are getting divorced at 52 and falling down into tears, admitting that they never really loved their spouse, and they feel their life has been sucked up into a vacuum cleaner. You know, I want a great life. I want her to have a great life. She deserves that. All right, but we're just living in the pretense of a marriage, responsibility, you know, all these just ideas of how people are supposed to live. But then I, I have these dreams. What dreams? Oh, I have these dreams, you know, that um, I'm standing on a platform and uh, you keep going by on a train and you go by and you go by and you go by, you go by and I wake up with the fucking sweats, you know, and then I have this other dream, oh, where you're pregnant in bed beside me naked and I want so badly to touch you but you tell me not to and then you look away and and I, 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 I touch you anyway right on your ankle and your skin is so soft that I wake up in sobs, all right? And my wife is sitting there looking at me and I feel like I'm a million miles from her and I know that there's something wrong, you know, that I, I, God, that I can't keep living like this, that there's gotta be something more to love than commitment. But then I think that I might have given up on the whole idea of romantic love, that I, I might have put it to bed that, that day when you weren't there. I think I might have done that.